In this video I'll show you how to use these two-way switches that we use quite a lot in physics. I'll show you two things about them, how you can use it as a simple on and off switch and then secondly as how you can use it to control two different branches of a circuit. So the switch is set up in the way that these two connections are always connected so the switch will have no effect on whether these two are connected to each other they always are so it's like having a wire between them for that reason we usually just clip on to one of the contacts here either the top or the bottom I'll be using the bottom one so you can see there's four places you can connect on and these two are always connected these two on the right here these two are never connected it doesn't matter whether, which position the switch is in they are always, or they're never connected. Uh, all this does is connects either this contact to the left or this contact to the left. Firstly, I'll show you how to use it as a simple on off switch. And for this, I'll be using these two at the bottom here. If I just take a lamp and uh, put my power supply into the left bottom contact and my lamp I'll connect across here. So I'm using the two contacts at the bottom. Now whenever the switch is down it will be on and whenever it's up it will be off. So here's my lamp. If I turn it into the on position it's on, off, on, off. Okay, so that's a simple on-off switch where you use just the two bottom contacts. Now I'm going to modify the circuit so that I'm setting up this circuit here, which has got two branches. In, when the switch is in this position, this one lamp will light up, and if it's in this position, these two lamps will light up. So you can have two branches across the cell. They won't be all lit up at the same time. This branch to the cell is always used in this circuit. So this connection here will be one of these ones on the left. As I said before, I'll be using the bottom one. So this one needs to go to the positive terminal of the cell. The negative terminal of the cell is going to split into two. One's going to go towards the single lamp and the other one is to the two lamps in series. Here's my single lamp and I'll put that in this here. Put another copper I'll put it here. And this one needs to go to the other branch of the switch and to there. So now my two lamps are lit up because the switch is in the top position there. So that's passing the current through my two lamps in series. And if I switch, if I switch down, you can see that just my single lamp is light. If it increase the voltage, then uh, it's a bit of a tricky connection here. Right, my one lamp is light and my two are light. Now I'll demonstrate the use of the switch with a couple of capacitor circuits. So this is something for A2 students who are familiar with capacitors. I'm going to set up a circuit firstly using an on off switch which is this circuit here now here the switch is just along this branch here and when the switch is closed the capacitor charges and then when the switch is opened it stops charging and the capacitor will discharge through the resistor and we have a voltmeter so that we can see see what the how the voltage varies with time across that resistor. So I'm going to set that circuit up. 
firstly, I've got the positive term of the cell going towards the switch. And then that goes to the capacitor. So that when the switch is down, the capacitor will be charging. Now, the positive terminal of the cell needs to connect to the positive terminal of the capacitor. Right, that's already charged. If I take a wire and connect it across the capacitor terminals, I can discharge the capacitor almost immediately. That's because the wire has very low resistance, so the time constant is very small. Let's move this so that you can see the voltage. There we go. Right. Let's just discharge that again. Now, when I put the switch into the down position, I'll charge the capacitor and we'll see that the voltage will increase very quickly. There we go. So I've gone up to just under 6 volts. Uh, that, there's no resistor in series with the capacitor during the charging cycle. There's nothing around that loop. So it charges very quickly. But then the discharge process, when I turn it off, is considerably slower, so we can see the voltage slowly dropping off. Because the, in this case now, the capacitor is discharging through that resistor, it has a high resistance. So that's the first circuit where I'm using the switch just as an on-off switch. And now, I will set up a new circuit, which will be this one, where I'll use the switch as a two-way switch. And this time the resistor is in series with the capacitor. Then we can put the voltmeter across there to see how the voltage across the resistor changes. When the switch is in this position, the capacitor will charge. But this time it's going to charge through the resistor. And when the switch is in this position, it will discharge. But again, it will discharge through the resistor as well, because we'll form that loop there. So charging is going to take place and discharging through the resistor. That's useful if you want to analyse charging and discharging. Now, this positive terminal of the capacitor needs to go into the common side of the switch. Then the... When, now, because the, the cell is connected to this branch, when the switch is down, it will be charging. When it's up, it will be discharging. Need one more wire for that, which is this one. And that needs to connect from the switch to the other side of the resistor, which is here. Okay, so the, cir what the circuit I've set up is, has the voltmeter connected across the capacitor so we can see the voltage across the capacitor. The resistor is in series. The positive terminal of the capacitor is connected to this common branch of the switch. When the switch is down, that's connecting the capacitor across the cell so it will charge. And when it's up, this wire connects from the switch to the other side of the resistor so then the capacitor will discharge through the resistor. So we should see something different this time. When I turn it on, the capacitor will charge through the resistor, so the charging process will take longer and it will discharge through the resistor also. So we'll see the voltage go up slowly and go down slowly. There we go, that's the voltage increasing very slowly in comparison. The time constant for the charging process is longer. And if I were to flick up before it's fully charged, then it's discharging through the resistor also. So that circuit uses the two-way switch so that I can both charge and discharge through the capacitor through the resistor.